science review second periodical test in which part are sperm cells produced and stored a1 b2 c3 d4 Number two, what is labeled one in the picture? A. Seminal vesicle B. Prostate gland C. Cowper's gland D. Vas deferens Number three, which of the following connects the testes to the seminal vesicle and the urethra? A. Epididymis B. Vast difference. C. Carper's gland. D. Prostate gland. Number four. In which part of the female reproductive system does fertilization normally take place? A. One. B. Two. C. Three. D. Four. Number five. What is labeled two in the picture? A. Vagina B. Ovary C. Cervix D. Uterus Which part is also called womb? A. Ovary B. Palupian tube C. Uterus D. Cervix Number 7. Which of the following does not happen during puberty? A. Girl's voice becomes higher. B. Girl's shoulders become broader. C. Boy's muscles become stronger. D. Boy's voice may crack or break at certain times. At what period do girls are capable of reproduction? A. Debut B. Menopause C. Mentally mature the start of menstruation. When does menstruation happen? A. When the egg matures. B. When the egg meets the sperm. C. When the egg is fertilized. D. When the egg is not fertilized. What are the two modes of reproduction in animals? A. Fertilization and photosynthesis B. Sexual and photosynthesis C. Sexual and asexual reproduction D. Asexual reproduction and fertilization Number 11. Which one of the following is not a function of the female reproductive system? A. To take care of the developing baby during pregnancy B. To give birth to the baby. C. To excrete water. D. To produce eggs. Number 12. Which of the following best describes the ovary? A. The birth canal. B. The passageway of the eggs. C. The female sex organ that produces egg cells. D. A muscular tube where the fetus is developed. Which part of the male reproductive system is described as the muscular organ inside the scrotum? A. Penis B. Testis C. Urethra D. Cervix Number 14. Below are some of the activities most boys and girls do to take care of their bodies, especially during puberty stage. Which practices do you follow? 1. Cleaning the genital with mild soap and water every day. 2. Use underarm deodorant body every day. 3. Change underwear every week. 4. Take a bath every other day. A. 1 and 2. B. 2 and 3. C. 3 and 4. D. 1 and 4. Number 15. 
The following statements are suggested good habits to keep our reproductive organs healthy. Which one is not? A. Take a bath daily. B. Always use public toilet. C. Change your underwear as often as necessary. D. Eat nutritious food and get adequate rest and sleep. Number 16. The diagram shows the female reproductive system. Name the parts labeled A and B. A. A. Fallopian tube. B. Vagina. B. A. Ovary. B. Vagina. C. A. Uterus. B. Cervix. D. A. Fallopian tube. B. Uterus. Number 17. What is the stage in a woman when menstrual cycle stops and is no longer capable of conceiving a baby? A. Bleeding B. Fertilization C. Menarche D. Menopause Number 18. The diagram shows the female reproductive system during the fertile period of the menstrual cycle. Select what happens to the lining of the uterus during this time. A. A sperm become implanted in the uterus. B. The uterus release an egg. C. It breaks down. D. It gets bigger. Number 19. In the diagram represents the menstrual cycle shown. When does menstruation take place? A. Between day 1 and 5. B. Between day 6 and 11. C. Between day 12 and 16. D. Between day 17 and 28. Number 20. Which of the following statements best describes the role of corpus luteum in the menstrual cycle? A. It contains an egg. B. It signals the uterus to thicken. C. It develops a lining of blood vessels and soft tissues in the uterus. D. It secretes small amount of estrogen and large amount of progesterone. Number 21. Which group of animals produced by laying egg? A. Cats, bats, ducks. B. Ducks, quail, eagles. C. Snake, dogs, chickens. D. Butterfly, rabbit, lion. Number 22. How does the fluttering of wings by the female mosquito attract the male mosquito? A. It gives off a high-pitched sound. B. It makes them fly faster. C. It cools them down. D. It spreads pheromones. Number 23. Which of the following is true about sexual reproduction? A. Only one parent is involved. B. Genetically identical offspring are produced. C. It puts animal at an evolutionary disadvantage in terms of variation. D. It involves the exchange of genetic material between two individuals. Number 24. Why do many organisms produce thousands of offspring? A. To produce food for predators. B. To increase survival rate of generations. C. Egg production required very little energy. D. To make sure that there are lots of brothers and sisters. Number 25. What is the flower's male reproductive organ? A. Stamen. B. Pistil. C. Petal. D. Corolla.
Number 26. Which one of the following characteristics would you associate with insect pollination? A. Small green petals. B. Large amount of small pollen. C. Stamen and carpels found inside the flower. D. Highly colored petals with nectar and scent. Number 27. What part of the flower produces male sex cells or pollen? A. Anther B. Filament C. Ovary D. Style Number 28. Choose what statement best describes the function of the stigma. A. Produces the female sex cells B. Protects the unopened flower C. Catches and holds the pollen grains. D. Produces a sugary solution called nectar. Number 29. Which one of the following statements is false? A. A zygote is formed during the process of fertilization. B. Reproduction and plant results in the formation of a new plant. C. All plants produced by either sexual or asexual reproduction. D. In sexual reproduction, the offspring of a plant is identical to one of the parents only. Number 30. Flowering plants can be pollinated in many ways. How does camomilla flower be pollinated? A. Through wind. B. Through animals. C. Through insects. D. All of the above. Number 31. Which structure is considered the male reproductive part of a flowering plant? A. Stamen. B. Sepal. C. Petal. D. Ovary. Number 32. The following plants are flowering except... A. Daisy B. Fern C. Gomamela D. Santan Number 33 Which is not an example of flowering plant? A. Roses B. Moses C. Oak tree D. Tomato plant Number 34 Where do ferns produce their spores? A. Underneath their leaves. B. In their flowers. C. On their stem. D. In their roots. Number 35. Which of the following grow rapidly on stories by absorbing the rich nutrients of the water? A. Crab. B. Oyster. C. Phytoplankton. D. Seahorse. Number 36. What kind of ecosystem where fresh water meets a salt water? A. Estuaries. B. Habitat. C. Intertidal zone. D. Marine zoo. Number 37. What do we call an area of a shoreline that can be seen during low tide and disappear during high tide? A. Estuary B. Euphotic Zone C. Intertidal Zone D. Open Sea Number 38. Which of the following disrupt the balance of intertidal and estuaries ecosystem? A. Planting trees B. Dynamite fishing C. Planting marsh grass D. Proper Waste Management Number 39. The following statements show the protection and conservation of the stories and intertidal environment except for one. A. Proper disposal of garbage and household chemicals. B. Overharvest of recreational and commercial species. C. Planting Mars grass. D. No to dynamite fishing.
Number 14. Why is it important to protect the estuaries and intertidal environment? A. It provides places for habitat of valuable species of plants and animals. B. It is a mandate from the town mayor. C. It gives people work to do. D. It attracts tourists. Number 41. What is the picture about? A. Estuary B. Landmark C. Intertidal Zone D. Tourist Spot Number 42. What do we call to the encircled area? A. Estuary B. Landmark C. Intertidal Zone D. Tourist Spot Number 43. What is also known as nurseries of the seas? A. Estuaries B. Seashore C. Intertidal Zone D. Marine Zoo Number 44. What is the picture about? A. Life cycle of a butterfly B. Metamorphosis of a butterfly C. Food chain D. Food web Number 45. What is the picture about? A. Animals in the forest B. Predators and prey C. Food chain D. Food web Number 46. Which of the following is the producer in the picture? A. Plant B. Rabbit C. Snake D. Butterfly Number 47. What refers to the amount of salt in water? A. C. B. Salinity C. Shoreline D. Salt Mars Number 48. What do we call to the area in the estuary which is filled with seawater during high tide and drained during low tide? A. Mangrove forest B. Salt marsh C. Shorelines D. Coral reef Number 49. Which of the following is the area filled with the trees in the picture? A. Mangrove forest B. Shorelines C. Ocean Park D. Coral Reef Number 50. Which of the following is the herbivore animal? A. Coral B. Limpet C. Starfish D. Seahorse Thank you for watching, reading, and answering. Science Review Second Periodical Test